my channel and I am just doing this video just to test out my new camera. Um, I hope the quality is as good as I think that it is. Um, I'll have to do a few more videos and test it out. But um, let me know what you think. If it's good quality, thumbs up this video. Um, I wanted it to be a new camera for the new year. And um, as the title says, this video is about nail care. Um, sometimes I get compliments on my nails when they're longer because um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I guess because some people have issues growing out their nails. And sometimes I do too. But I have done some things differently and I wanted to share with you how I get my nails to grow. Actually right now my pinky and my thumbnail on this hand broke off because I had acrylic nails. So I don't do acrylic nails often, but I will say that I do like how fast my nails grow when I have acrylics on because it allows my nails to grow underneath without breaking because they're not going to get damaged by the elements, you know, water and things of that sort or picking up things or snagging or anything. So, um, they, they tend to grow really fast. Like, I, my nails pushed off the acrylics because they were growing, um, they were growing out of the acrylics. So, um, my nails, these are what my nails look like after acrylics, and excuse my polish, I have to polish my nails again. Um, these are what my nails look like after having acrylics and how I take care of my nails after that so that way they don't become brittle and snag and things of that sort. So moving on, um, the first thing, like when I get my, well the first thing, I like to trim my cuticles and I know some people say no, don't do that and some say that it's okay. Well I do it very gently and I do it about once, maybe twice every two weeks and I just use the little tool like this and this is, um, by Revlon and this is a cuticle trimmer and um, what I do is just I just go around my cuticles and I trimmed all the the dead skin away and then after that I wash my hands well before I wash my hands really good so that way it softens up the cuticles and then after I cut the cuticles off I do that again and then I use a cuticle oil. And I got this from Sally's for like, I, I'm thinking it's around two, three, between two and four dollars. This is the, um, this is the cuticle oil by Super Nail. And I've had this for a long time. I've had this for maybe a year now. And as you can see, it's still really full. And, um, what I do is that I get a, um, a cotton swab and I dip that into here and I just place that onto my fingers and then I massage that in. So that way it keeps the cuticles and the nail healthy. I go underneath my nails, I go all over the nails into the cuticle so that way it keeps it healthy and it helps it to uh, grow and I think it stimulates growth because it's kind of like nourishment for my nails and um, the next thing I uh, my nail polish removers I try to use nail polish removers without acetone um, but you know sometimes that's what you have and that's what you have to use but I try to use it without acetone because it's just a little bit safer is a little bit better for you. Um, I like to keep my nail polish remover in little containers like this and I just kind of put a jewel on there. But I got this one from Sephora but these little bottles um, they have like this little, this looks a little dirty because I've had like nail polish and everything all over it but um, these you just press down and the product comes out so you don't have to worry about spilling it everywhere. I got that from Sephora. However, I suggest that you guys buy 
the ones from prettyandcute.com because they're only $5 and these from Sephora are $11 or $12. So uh, I'll put the link down in the description bar to uh, Pretty and Cute to get bottles like these. Um, what's next? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, another thing that I do, I have two different type of nail files. I have this one by Kiss. It's a really rough nail file. And I do that when I need to, sometimes when my nails grow, they get really strong. So sometimes it's harder to file them. So I get a really strong nail file like this. And I file my nails down and get them nice and smooth. And then I have a glass file, which is a lot softer and a lot more gentle to the nail. And I use that to smooth the nail out so that way it doesn't snag or anything of that sort. Um, what else do I have here? Oh, um, nail polish. For a base coat, sometimes I use just a general base coat. Most of the times, I, especially after I've had acrylics, I like to use a maximum strength or a maximum growth um, nail polish as a base coat. And this one is by Sally Hansen. And it's just a, a peachy nude color. Do, do, do just looks like that. Um, I use that so that way um, not only do I have a base coat to keep my nail polish lasting longer but I also have something that's allowing my nails to get some nourishment and to help it grow. Um, also on a daily basis I use the Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I use this to actually um, moisturize my cuticles. To, on a daily basis to keep them soft and nourished. Um, and also, I moisturize my hands a lot. And the two things that I use the most to moisturize is this Vaseline Healthy Hand and Nail Conditioning um, Lotion. And it has keratin and vitamin E in it. And our nails and our hair needs keratin and needs protein to grow and be healthy. So... That's why I use this, and I've used a lot, so it's almost time to get a new one. And I also use my hand cream, well it's not hand cream, it's a body butter from Sephora, and this is the Vanilla Cupcake Body Butter from Sephora. And I use that to um, moisturize all over, but um, I love using it on my hands because it melts, it smells, ooh it smells so good. It melts in really nicely, and it um, it moisturizes really, really great. And so I use the whole technique. I use not only on my fingers, but I use the I use that technique on my toes as well to try to keep my nails healthy. So um, I hope this video was informative for you, and I thank you so much for watching. Please again let me know. Um, if the video quality is better, if you like it, also um, definitely leave me a comment down below if you have any suggestions on videos you would like to see. And I will see you soon in the next video. Have a nice day guys. Bye!